how to make a e-commerce website with free payment getaways. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own free e-commerce website using Google Sites with your own free payment getaway. So let's get into it. Now, everyone knows about Google Sites. It is an amazing platform to create your own uh, website, but it does not have any e-commerce features. So you might be wondering, how can I create an e-commerce website? But I'm going to show you guys exactly how. So to get started, we're just going to first off start with our basic website. So you can use any of these templates if you want, but we're just going to continue on with a blank template. And then you're just going to click on themes over here. You can choose any of these themes for your store and I'm just going to uh, choose the simple theme and then what you're going to do is you're going to just design it as if it was your e-commerce store so I'm just going to add some basic uh, text that I usually would for any e-commerce store look your best and I'm just going to create like a clothing store or something along those lines now after that I'm going to enter my site name so this could be Vogue Fashion like this and now what I'm going to do is you can click on header type over here and choose the kind of header you want usually I like to add a cover header or a large banner header so I'm just going to add a cover header and then you can click on change image over here click on upload to upload your own image or click on select image over here and then you can search on google as well so I'm just going to search for fashion over here and use any of these stock images so I am just going to pick out one of these images over here like this and I'm just going to click on select over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on insert over here and once I click on insert I'm going to scroll down click on button and add a button called shop now add any kind of random letters in the link section I'm going to show you guys later on what you're actually going to later on add into the link so once you create your button you're just going to move it up over here so you can move it to the bottom of the text like so and then you can also choose to like move the text in one section like look your best like this and then you can just select the text from here and then move this to one side if you want or like this however you might want to design your website so after that in your shop now button you can choose how you want it to look like so if you want it to be outlined text or just filled and now what you're going to do is you're going to create your second page which is going to be your actual product page where you are going to list your product so you're going to click on pages over here click on new page and then add your page so you're going to add your product or whatever you might want to call your shop now section and now you're going to click on your header type click on title only go back into your home section and then what you're going to do is click on your shop now button and then you're going to click on edit button and instead of linking it to the random link you're going to link it to the products page click on update and now whenever someone clicks on shop now they would be led to the products page now you might be wondering hey they don't have any e-commerce features how am i supposed to add my products well for that we are going to be using this simple tool over here called power.io so it's p-o-w-r.io and you can just use this to create your simple and easy e-commerce storefront so you're just going to click on get started over here click on sign up with google or facebook or you can continue with your email address so i'm just going to continue with my gmail account over here and what you're going to do is you're going to click on create new app you're going to click on online store so you're going to click on get app and then you're just going to begin creating a simple little online store so you can see over here this is what your store is going to look like and these are just some sample products so what you're going to do is you're going to rename this and i'm just going to rename this from the top left over here i'm going to add vogue fashion and then what you're going to do is you're just going to click on the content section and then you can just delete all of these you can also click on settings over here and choose the currency that you want to use you can add discount codes you can also add redirection urls once people have purchased a item and then you can also click on the design of this and then the basic product section to add your products now not only can you add products but you can also click on the connect section over here click on configure payments you can enable paypal payments you can enable stripe payments and you can also enable in-person payments which would mean you could also sell items for cash on delivery plus you can also sell digital files so you can also click on configure notifications and you can add notifications to yourself whenever a person purchases a product Product. and now we're going to begin adding our product so you're just going to go into the content section click on add product and then we're just going to start adding our product so we're going to add blouse 
silk we're going to add the button text which would be add to cart and then you can also enable inventory tracking so whenever a product is sold out they no longer going to sell it on your website it will show it as out of stock and then you also have your digital download so if you have any digital products that you're looking to sell you can also sell those over here now after that you have your pricing section so you're just going to price that at whatever so i'm just going to price this at ten dollars or a hundred dollars let's go let's go with a hundred dollars so i'm going to price this at a hundred dollars and then you can also add shipping prices like ten dollars for that and then you can add tax percentages and you can choose what type of product this is this is obviously a item so this is going to be a one-time purchase but you can also add subscription boxes you can add renewals as well in the subscription section and then you can also choose the quantity a single purchaser can buy because let's say if you have a fashion brand and you have a lot of products that are demanded a lot then you can choose a default quantity that you want people to be able to buy and you can also choose to turn this off so a person can only purchase a product once they cannot buy multiple copies of the same product over and over again to make sure that you don't run into any stock shortages so we're just going to add the default quantity at one then you're going to click on images click on add image and upload the image for your product so obviously you're going to upload your own images for products but we're just going to go into the stock image site and we're just going to search for a blouse and we're just going to use this little image for the product and then we're going to the options and from here you can actually add your sizes and your colors and any other variations that you offer in your product so we're going to click on add option and then the first option i'm going to add would be size click on add option again and now we're just going to add the sizes which would be xs add option s add option m add option large like this so you're just going to add the options you can write the entire things and then you can also click on another option group so if you want to add color variations as well you're going to click on add option group and then you're going to label this color and then you're going to click on add option group which would be pink then you're going to click on add option group which could be white and then add option group which could be skin like this and you can also choose to sell a product for a different price at different options let's say if you're selling something like cloth by the meter then you can choose like if someone is buying 10 meters of a curtain cloth then you can choose to add a specific uh price over the basic price so that price would be added over the basic price of the item and i'll show you guys how that works let's say the large size of this shirt is going to be sold for more money let's say i charge an extra five dollars for the large version so i'm just going to add five dollars over here and now the default price of my shirt is going to be added so if i go into the pricing it's a hundred dollars and it would be a hundred and five dollars for someone that purchases the product in a large now once you have done that you're just going to add more product as it is then you can also just go into the design section and uh, design it however you want this to appear on your website so you can change the font from over here let's say we want this font and then we can go back and then change the background so if we don't want a basic like background you can just customize this as well and i just like to keep it a transparent background i just think it looks the most neat and then you can also have your button designs you also have your border designs, so you can add a border color like so click on done over here and now once you have done all of your design section and added your products you're just going to click on publish over here and now you're just going to click on copy code and don't worry you don't have to change anything you don't have to learn how to code this is a very simple integration you're going to click on copy code you're going to go back into the products page that you just created on google sites where you left it off and then you're going to click on insert over here go up click on embed click on embed code and then you're just going to paste it as it is whatever you copied just paste it as it is click on next click on insert and once you do that you're just going to expand this box over here so once you do that you're just going to expand this box over here like so just expand it however much you want and then you can just expand it you know the more products you have the more you can expand it obviously i only have added one product i don't really need to expand it too much but just like that i have added my product or my e-commerce front and if later on i just keep on adding products in the widget i don't actually have to insert the uh, little widget over and over again the products would add automatically 
automatically be added. So I'm just going to place this over here, expand it a little more. So we have like a bunch of little space to sell our product. Now, once I have done that, I'm just going to click on publish and this is going to be the web address and I'm going to click on publish over here. And now my Google sites e-commerce store is ready. So I'm going to click on view published site. And now I'm just going to go back into the dashboard of Google sites, open this site up, click on view published site. And now you can see this is my published site and you know the shop now button now if i click on shop now it leads me to the product and if i click on add to cart i have these different options and you can see if i add the large one to the cart the price turns to 105 dollars and then i can choose the color that i want and now you can just add to cart and purchase via whatever payment getaways you set up over here if you want paypal or stripe or cash on delivery whatever is your preference so that is how simple and easy it is to create your own e-commerce store using google sites and this simple integration of power.io i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video